I'm never bored. <laughs> when I started into correctional medicine, I refound my love of medicine. I'm endlessly fascinated, interested, I'm well supported, well remunerated, and I get to help people. Corrections is an interesting specialty because it blends so many different parts of medicine. This is bread and butter primary care. You are also working from a procedural standpoint on par with something you would do in a minor procedures unit in a hospital. And there is so much interconnection between addictions medicine and mental health. And then with the team-based approach that we have here with in-house psychologists and psychiatrists, you've got lots of supports. It is deeply humbling and impactful work. You're dealing with some of the most disenfranchised, the most vulnerable population and really making a difference. You can spend your time with the patient. You can really look into the records. So you can really work up the patients, see the difference that your treatment is making over a period of time. When I come to work and I work 40 hours a week, 30 plus of those hours are seeing patients. Zero of those hours are doing all of the things that a business needs to have done, which frees up my time to do everything else in life that I want to do. There's lots of flexibility in working in corrections. I can work virtually or I can go into the institution and see inmates face to face. I can work a half a day a week or I could work a lot more than that, which suits a number of physicians no matter where they are in their practice. In British Columbia, there are 10 provincial facilities. I have access to some of the most beautiful coastline in the world. There's mountains around, there's ability to ski, water sports, hiking, and tons of nature. Everything in this environment is designed and functions with safety in mind. There might be a perception out there, which I don't think is justified that, you know, you're dealing with a very unsafe population. This population is really no different in many ways than somebody who can walk into an emergency room or a clinic on, on off the street. As far as the opiate crisis and the mental health crisis that we have, I don't think any population is more representative of that than the people that are in corrections. And so this is on the front lines. I think the impact that you can have as a corrections medicine physician is second to none. You couldn't find a more beautiful place to live. BC is absolutely beautiful. <laughs>